Close the paint up and we missed some shots. And, uh, you know, they got high from the three, so. An emotional game. Emotionally, what was missing coming down the stretch? Nothing emotionally. What's the level of excitement right now in that locker room to play game seven? Uh, you know, we know we got another game to play. We're excited about that. We get another opportunity and uh, we can't hang our heads. We got another game to play. So, um, you know, it's pretty high right now. Anthony Sayer with Oklahoma. And how much of, you said they got hot from three. How much of that was just them getting hot? How much of it was you guys losing them defensively? Um, I, I thought we did a good job of contesting threes. And, uh, Thompson had some tough ones over hands. Uh, Curry hit some tough ones over hands. So, you know, uh, that's what they do. But you got to live with some of those. You know, they, they made some tough ones. And they got they got out in transition and hit threes, too. So, you know, we I thought we played extremely hard. They shot 41% from the floor. And they made 21 threes. Uh, either one of you, you guys were up five at halftime. Did it feel like it, it should have been more? It, it, kind of seemed like you outplayed them by more than that. Um, I mean, it was up five. We felt comfortable with our lead. Uh, you know, we know we could have played better, uh, especially in the first half. But, uh, you know, I think we even started the third uh, better than they did, so which was great. But, you know, we did come out with the win. Myron Patton Fox, does it help that you got the game so close, or would you like to have more time to kind of correct some things and practice things of that nature? Well, it's, seven, it's the seventh game of the series. You know, we, we we know exactly what they do. They know exactly what we do. So, you know, it's just a matter of who wants them more. And I, I think both teams went out there and played extremely hard. They made more shots than we did, you know, and uh, especially from the three, you know. So, you know, that's the name of, that was the name of the game tonight. 21 threes for Golden State, three for Oklahoma City. <laughs> what are you laughing at? There will be a game seven. I got a stat Monday. to give y'all. Okay, okay what's that? Russell and Kevin missed 38 shots. The rest of the team shot 32. Well, the crowd that has stuck around here for uh, for Inside the NBA presented by Kia. We, we're kind of in the DMZ right now. Over here to my left, we've got this pocket of Golden State fans who have been okay. cheering over here. And we got the Oklahoma City contingent still here. And uh, there go my boy Sizzle Hands. Having to deal with, you know, if, if you're Oklahoma City, as we go to the Coors Light Cold Hard Fact, um, 63 points from deep, 63 to 9 in game six. Uh, and the paint points, look at OKC just dominating the paint. But, man, it was the three-point weapon that told the tale on this night for Golden State to stay alive in the series in Forza Game 7. And in the fourth quarter, no assists for Oklahoma City. Five turnovers and six turnovers as they were outscored 33-18. to 18. Chuck, it is one thing to, on February 27th in this building, have Steph Curry hit a 37-footer and beat you in overtime in a game you think you're going to have. It's it's another when you're this close to going to the NBA Finals oh, yeah, but and they take it from you here. Now, how do you how do you bounce back from this? Well, this was, you know, you asked me about Billy Donovan. He's got his work cut out for him. But Ernie... Hey, what? I, I missed what you just said. I says, you, Ernie asked me a couple uh, days ago. about right. what does Billy do different to Scott. I says, well, we don't, we'll don't. we see when the series is over. Uh, he's got his work cut out from a psychological standpoint, to be honest with you. But Ernie... They reverted back to hero ball. They, they didn't accept the fact that, you know what, we beat the San Antonio Spurs. Getting, they, they won the least assist teams in the regular season. They up in, at the top in the playoff. They beat the number two seed, the San Antonio Spurs. They were up three to one on the Golden State Warriors. And in the last two games, they reverted. They took all the shots, even even though the game was close last like uh, before. Russell and Kevin took too many shots, and then they came out tonight and did the exact same thing. So they reverted back to hero ball. You know what the funny thing is? When I was driving, we were coming over the arena. I wrote three things down. I said focus, belief, and trust, because game six and game seven, that's what it's about. Because the strategy works, because you've gotten to game six. But in the pressure of the moment, will you? 
trust the course, the process, or will you revert back and try to get the product? And what they've done is tried to get the product. They tried to get the win. And instead of saying, you know what? These guys, Waiters has helped me. Cantor has helped me. And I thought Russell Westbrook played a brilliant point guard position. I just thought that Kevin Durant, sometimes when you're great, you're too good because you put too much on your shoulders. And I thought he put too much on his shoulders tonight. You know, a lot of people think that the term superstar means me take all the shots, me score all the points. But the true definition of a superstar is making the ones around you better. Two things coming into this game I said at pregame. They can't fall in love with the three ball. They did that. They shot horrible 13%. But Russell, well, not Russell, Kevin has to know that, yes, he is the man. If your shot is not going, get everybody involved. Let them carry you for a while, then come back to it. He took way too many and, shots. And, 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 and you think what Steph did. Steph did that. He let he that. Clay carry him for till the last couple of minutes, and then, then all of a sudden the defense loosened up a little bit on him, and then all of a sudden he starts hitting shots. And if you're not playing well, this is one thing you can't do in a closeout game. You can't let the other guy get off. You have to be glued to a guy like Clay Thompson. You can't let that guy get open 11 times. You can't even let him but, get open but Ernie, two I, times. You, you got to open 11 times, Kenny. I told you at halftime, I said, I'm not feeling good. <laughs> I said, I'm not feeling good because they went back to hero ball, and I said, oh, they in trouble. I mean, 19 fourth quarter points for Clay Thompson. But if you look at Trey Thompson, I mean, Clay Thompson, well, that wasn't a Floridian slip. Trey Thompson, because <laughs> he's knocking down Trey. threes. Because the one thing that you have is once he got going, we've seen him do this before. We've seen him have 50-something points in a game. You know, we've the seen 37 and 37 a quarter. Yeah. quarter. We know he has this type of ability. So this is not a super surprise, but in the moment and the magnitude of what yeah. this is to close out, to be playing the Ke Cleveland Cavaliers in the NBA Finals, to say, no, we're going to play one more game, that was impressive. You know, we haven't talked about it in a while and haven't had to talk about it in a while because in the regular season, you know how many times, you know, 14 times they had lost leads when they had uh, taken a lead to the fourth quarter. They seem to have righted that ship. They were 8-1 and one in the postseason, leading going to the fourth. But here it comes back up at the worst possible time as they blow a fourth quarter lead tonight. Yeah, again, it's, it's all about uh, in moments of pressure, can you still stay consistent or do you get out of character? It is not, the game plan is already set. They've been the better team up until the last game, really. They've been the better team. But... In the moments of pressure, guys decided to do things differently. They, it, it was a mental breakdown. It was any, nothing to do with anything else. They decided no. that I'm not going to trust that my teammate's going to be here. I want to do it by myself. I want to be the hero. But, uh, or, or now I've done it too much. Now I'm going to pass up some shots that I should have and not be aggressive. That's so, what you're supposed to do. But when, you, when you're in the moments of pressure, and you see guys, this is what, to me, the greatest players that I've seen play, the greatest teams, they're, they're consistent. They're a consistency of, of style of play, and that's what Golden State did tonight. There was a consistency, and then they got hot, and then they started hitting tough shots, and then all of a sudden the barn was open and yeah. the house was on but, fire. But I said, no, I told you at halftime, I said, they're in trouble because when you – you, Kenneth just said some interesting, and, I, and I, we were talking what, about What, the it. barn was open and the no, house was no, on fire? No, like, <laughs> when you that was interesting. Russell Westbrook has to play one way. Full speed, that's what that's what makes him a great player. Yeah. When Kevin went six for 20, he had to say, like, oh, am I shooting too much? And then you kind of go the other way. And uh, this was a very frustrating game because I could tell, like I say, I, I told y'all at halftime, they in trouble. Because uh, they should have been up a lot. They should have been up 8 yeah. to 10 points. Yeah, I mean, but when you come out and take the first six shots, you go two for six, you're not having a good night. You ain't on. Now it's time to involve other people. And we have said that before the game. It was going to be, go back to the last game, Ernie. Spates, Bogut, all those guys. Oklahoma City didn't do that. They didn't get those other guys involved. We that's, had that's exactly what you said in the pregame show. You said, here you are. You're a star, and you're at home. Your mindset would be, get I up. know I'm going to be okay. Yeah. I want to get these guys going and feeling good before we, but that, yeah, that's no. not the case tonight.